Hi guys, it's your boy Gadget Man 404 here and I am taking a different uh, look with my channel. I'm not going to be doing so much all drone stuff but I'm going to be doing like country walks and things. Archway coming up. If you guys know this area, I'm in Ticknell and I'm walking to Corkabby. I've parked uh, in Ticknell Village and I've walked through some like um, public access paths. This is the way you drive in. If I'd have known this, I'd have driven my motorbike here, but instead I'm walking and I've got a long walk to get to Corkabby. But I just wanted to, um, I've always wanted to do this. I've done um, a little flight, not posted it yet, where I'm over a reservoir or over land of a reservoir and you can see Cork Abbey like way off in the distance. Not posted that yet because I'm waiting to hear back from the National Trust. As you're not allowed to fly drones on, i.e. taking off over or on a National Trust land. But as I said with the video, I am I'm not on their land, I'm next door. So basically I just wanted to uh, wait and hear back from them and then I'm walking here to see, um, yeah, to see what it's like here. It looks very pretty. So uh, yeah, I'm coming up to a, like a, I don't know, talk to somebody in a minute and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, cheers, bye, bye. Alright guys, I'm back. I basically, um, I was walking on the road and you have to either be a member or buy a ticket to visit. So the lady told me there is a public footpath, which is what I'm on now, and I'm allowed here. You're allowed there, this just takes you right round the property to get to the front, whereas that's a more direct route, so that's why you have to be a member. But, I mean, just look guys, just look at all this. Just woods, nature, it's beautiful. And I'm not at work until tonight, so I thought, you know what, I'm just gonna go for a walk today. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna keep coming in and out because this is, um, I think I've got a long walk to get to Cork Abbey, but um, it'll be worth it in the end. So I'll catch you soon guys. All right, take it easy. Cheers. Hi right, guys, I'm back and here's some sheep chilling out in the lovely heat of the British uh, climate, which isn't normally this nice this time of year. And uh, just uh, an update. I've just rang Cork Abbey because uh, I fly the Mavic Mini and as you guys are aware, it weighs under 250 grams. And in January this year, the 1st of Jan, the rules to drone pilots changed, i.e. in the open class category. So because my drone is very lightweight, it's classed as low to no risk of harm to humans or property. So I've, while I've been walking to Cork Abbey, I've rang Cork Abbey to say, I sent an email on the 31st asking permission, because it says you can do drone flights if you get permission. And I said, well, these videos on YouTube that are six years old and they're flying literally right outside the uh, building. Now, obviously the rules may have not been as tight as they are now, but that was FPV drones as well. So if anything goes wrong with them, you've got no GPS uh, fail safe to help. You will literally crash into the building and people are flying over the roofs of the building. They're flying over glass. Uh, the old-fashioned glass uh, greenhouses that are here because there's like a walled garden area and I've just given them information of the date of when I sent it so they can look into that because I'd love to fly around here as I've explained as you guys are aware as from January this year we are now allowed to fly the Mavic Mini quite a lot more places than bigger heavier style drones I can now fly over uninvolved people as long as I'm 200 feet above well I fly 250 300 feet anyway and there's nothing here it's just fields 
you know, this is a path that takes you to Cork Abbey. It's a long way round because I haven't paid for a ticket. But I didn't know you had to pay for a ticket. Um, but I might not even get to it now because I've been walking for nearly an hour, 40 odd minutes. And I've got to think about, I've got to walk all the way back. Plus I've got to ride my bike home. I've got to get home before 3.30 coming up to two o'clock so if I'm not there by two I need to uh, start leaving to get home to pick up my son from school or to be home for when he gets home from school so that's as it is at the moment so as I say I might start doing a few videos where I just do walks in the countryside and find interesting places and instead of just doing drone stuff constantly just do the odd vlog here and there I mean, look how beautiful this is all the blossom. It's just starting, like, there's loads of like bugs flying. I don't know if you'll see that, guys. I'll come away. There's loads of bugs flying, like pollinating and etc. And it's just, when you live close to this, why wouldn't you want to uh, come visit, basically? So I'm going to walk for about another half an hour, 20 minutes, and then I might have to give it um, a miss because, like I say, I've got a long way to walk back. But uh, I'm coming up to another sort of sty. I mean, I've walked like way, way over there, like over the other side of there, and that's, that's miles away. But it's beautiful, and I've got drink, and I've got food. So, and I've got my phone, if anything happens, like if I get attacked by some wild bulls or some wild boar that are roaming in these woods, because there could be some wild boar roaming around in there, then at least I've got my phone with me and I can ring for help. Uh, hopefully I won't need to, but you never know. And that's it really. Um, yeah, I really don't know where I'm going now. There's cars everywhere. But it says National Trust on the gate. So I am in National Trust land, but then am I not when I go over there? I don't know. Anyway, I'll cut this one short for a minute and I'll come back in another few minutes. All right, guys, take it easy. Hi, right, guys, it's your boy Gadget Man 404 here. Unfortunately, um, I need a bit to do a bit better planning. I've walked for over an hour. I got here at half 12 and it's nearly two o'clock. So I parked up my bike, it took half an hour. So I got here at one-ish. I've been walking for an hour and I didn't get to Cork Abbey guys, unfortunately. Um, I was hoping to, but I, did, I, couldn't, I couldn't risk it because I've got to make sure I definitely get back um, to let my son in or to collect my son from school. Uh, my wife's at work, my son's at work, he's now gone to the gym and my daughter's gone out, so... Or, I need to leave earlier. Now, there is another way around this, and that is what my next video will be. Um, if I go to Staunton Harold Reservoir, video is already on my channel, guys, flying over the reservoir. Um, if you go down the reservoir, and bank around to your right it tails off a part of the reservoir tails off and that is where Cork Abbey is so in my video you can see Cork Abbey but another walk to get there um, is actually quicker than this way I thought this would be a more direct route coming from the back side of it whereas um, from the reservoir you will be you're coming from like off front so you want you're not walking up the drive you'll be coming across fields so you know it's it can be done sorry about that guys it can be done i've had a lovely walk out i've got my water bottle got some food and i'm going to say fail for now but i will be back and i'll catch you in the next one guys gadget man 404 out stay safe fly safe keep each other safe catch you in the next one cheers guys subscribe if you haven't already give this video a like and uh keep your eyes out all right bye for now guys cheers